Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on today's program. Pastor Benny Hinn begins a message designed to demonstrate the Holy Spirit's desire to have a deep personal relationship with you. Speaking at Durban Christian Center in South Africa, Pastor Benny shared from his heart about what he has learned about the Holy Spirit during his more than 40 years in ministry and how you can experience the same level of fellowship with the mighty third person of the Trinity. You know, people ask for the power of God. You cannot receive the power of God till you know the Holy Spirit himself. Otherwise, fanaticism will result in your life. Have you come this morning to receive from the Lord? Then lift your hands and say, I'm ready, Lord. I'm really ready. You see, without the power of God, you'll be defeated. Without the power of God, there's nothing left. Had it not been for the power of God, I would be gone by now. None of us would be here. Because Satan is not a toothless lion, as some claim. That's foolishness. Satan is a very powerful foe. But the Holy Spirit is mightier than the devil. His very presence is our protection from Satan. You must understand that the protecting power of the Holy Spirit is what keeps us in the faith. You know, I don't believe anymore that Satan has no access before God. I don't believe that. He is called the accuser of the brethren. The brethren means the church. Satan still has access because of his position. He still has authority. To come into the presence of God, no different than he did in the days of Job, accusing Job. That's why Jesus is in glory. Our high priest taking our case before God. That when the accuser accuses us, Jesus defends us. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. There are mysteries we don't fully comprehend and maybe we never will all we know is Satan is not some weak enemy powerful enough to convince one-third of all angels to turn against God that's power powerful enough to literally control this planet that's power the scripture says he he, he controls the unbelievers completely at any time he wants that's power but he has no power over you because because you've been purchased by the blood of the lamb give the lord a mighty hand for that glorious fact the power of the holy spirit is necessary in our lives and the longer i live the more i realize how important he is to my Christian walk but people must understand when 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 people want the power and not the person they will end up in fanaticism because you cannot receive the real power without the person of the Holy Spirit and the scripture is very clear when we see the Holy Spirit as power or influence we really rob him of his divine being and we rob him of the worship that's due to him and we we rob him of the surrender due to him because we see him as some power no he's not a power he's a he's a divine person worthy to receive our 
our adoration, our faith, our surrender, our worship, because he's a person. And you must understand, this is really what changed my life when I was young and, and continues to change my life. That when I realized the Holy Spirit really is a person. A person means one with intellect, one with emotions, one with will. The Holy Spirit is a person. And when you, you see him as a, a person and you stop seeing him as some mysterious power that you can use him. Because when people see him as a power, then they want to use him, you know. Uh, that's so wrong. When you see him as a real person who is infinitely holy, a person who is infinitely wise, a person who is mighty in power, infinitely powerful and mighty, infinitely tender. Listen to this. The Holy Spirit is very tender. Then when we see him as a person who is so real, we no longer want to use him. We want him to use us. Then we can surrender to him. We cannot surrender to a power. We surrender to the person of the Spirit. But you see, when, when, when you see him as a power, you'll, you'll always say, well, how can I get hold of him? But when you see him as a person, you'll say, how can he get hold of me? Anybody listening today? The person of the Holy Spirit, ladies and gentlemen, such a real, precious personality, as real as Jesus himself, as divine as Jesus himself. He is that ever-present loving friend, mighty helper, always ready, there at your side. He's there when there is an emergency in your life. He's there when there's trouble in your life. He's there when there is sorrow. He's there when there's bondage. He's there when the devil attacks you. The Holy Spirit is always there to help. You know, I am saddened and troubled by how little today we hear about him. The church of Jesus Christ has, has ignored him altogether. Catherine Kuhlman used to say, if you want to see Satan defeat you, ignore the Holy Spirit. If you want to see victory over Satan, recognize the Holy Spirit. If you want revival in your life, meet the Holy Spirit. If you want revival in your church, introduce the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our Please, he is our insurance, he is our protection from defeat and destruction. Without him, we will fail. Don't you understand that he is as divine as Jesus? And he is the one on the earth, as real as though Jesus the Son was here. The Holy Spirit is not some, some unknown personality. He's not a stranger to us. Jesus, the Master, said, I am with you. I shall be in you. The Holy Spirit is Jesus himself. He is the Spirit of the Lord. He is Jesus in your heart when people ask me, who is the Holy Spirit? I have one answer. He is Jesus unlimited. He is Jesus without limit. Because Jesus in the flesh was limited to be in one place at one time. But Jesus through the Holy Ghost is unlimited. He is the omnipresence of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the presence of Jesus. Yes, give him a mighty hand of praise. He deserves to be praised. He's not some mist. He's not some cloud. He's more than that. He is a real person with a living body. Please understand that the Holy Spirit walks and talks 
and sings and prays. He laughs and he cries. For the Bible says in Ephesians 4.30, Grieve not the Holy Ghost. That means he is so tender, he weeps over our sins. In Romans 15, we read about the love of the Spirit, that he actually loves me. How often have you looked up and said, Father, I thank you for your love, all the time. How often have you looked up and said, Dear Jesus, I thank you for your love, all the time. But how often have you looked up and said, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your love? Maybe never. Why? Because you don't see him in that light. I was thinking, coming here in the car, how wonderful of the Lord to represent me in heaven. That's why he's there now. He rose from the dead and said to us, the Holy Spirit will come to take my place. One who is as real as I am. One who is as divine as I am. One who will be with you at all times and in all places. One you can talk to. One you can love and fellowship with. Who will guide you into all truth and who will remind you of things I've said to you. That's marvelous. I have Jesus for myself through his Holy Spirit. One who will teach you and reveal truth to your heart. One who will guide you by the hand that you'll not fall. The Holy Spirit is a person. You must understand he is, he is not God the Father. He is not God the Son. God the Father in heaven is the great commander-in-chief. He's the one with the ideas. And you see such love. For the Bible says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. I see such love when I see God making decisions for my life and future. Jesus is the one who carries out those decisions in glory. He's the doer. It is he who died. It is he who came and said, I came to do the will of my Father. And there you see the Holy Spirit revealing the work of Jesus. Revealing the decisions of God the Father. The Holy Spirit is the great revealer. Christianity is a revelation and the Holy Spirit is the great revealer. He's a person. I think the greatest thing can happen to you when you realize he's a person because the moment you recognize him as a person, you'll submit to him as a person. You'll surrender to him. You'll begin to adore him. You'll begin to worship him. You'll begin to fellowship with him. He's a person. It was 1975. I was up in my bedroom one day and Jim Pointer just came to pick me up to go to a service he was preaching at. I'm standing in my bedroom at 48 Crossbow Crescent in Toronto in such fellowship, in such fellowship, in such fellowship because I learned at that time in my life that the greatest thing you and I can do is fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Practicing the presence of God is the real key to victory in the Christian life. And I'm in such fellowship, I'm not even aware of where I am. I'm standing, I'm not sitting, I'm not laying down, I'm not kneeling, just standing. Tears flowing my, down my cheeks as I'm just adoring the Master standing up that afternoon. And I had said to Jim, I said, well, you, you come and just hug the horn and I'll come down. I didn't realize that that afternoon I'd be caught in the spirit like this. And I heard the horn of the car. He used to drive a big, big Chevy. And, and I'm just about to leave when I felt a real hand touch my arm. A real hand touched my arm. I felt the fingers of the hand. And he held me back gently and he said this, please, just a few more seconds, 
don't leave yet. Just a few more seconds. I began crying. I realized that day that the Holy Spirit longs for my fellowship. And I went down to the car, and as I get in the car, Jim begins to sing hallelujah. And I said, are you okay? And he's crying, singing hallelujah. I said, are you okay, Jim? He said, Benny, when you walked in the car, God walked in this car. I said, Jim, I was just in my room up there, and here's what happened. And the Holy Spirit was begging me not to leave yet. And I think what happened, I said, is when he saw me go, he just came along with me. And that night we went to a little Methodist church in outside Toronto, and there was a man preacher, I'll never forget this as long as I live. He came, there was just a little congregation, maybe 30 people sitting there listening. And he, and he got up, and because Jim was singing that day, he'd take his accordion and just minister in song, and the preacher was preaching, and that minister come down to me. He says, what is your name? I was only about, goodness, 20-something years old by that time, 21, and I said, well, my name is Benny Hinn. He said, young man, the whole time I was preaching, I was looking at you. He said, you are the reason I preached so good. I said, really? He said, your face was shining like an angel sitting down there. I didn't even look at my face. The Holy Spirit is so precious that I stood on the platform in Bangalore, India. That day was such a busy day for me. At Crusade, we had 7 million people come in three days. And the last night, 3 million. And the last day, it's just so many activities, people coming, people going. And Gul Kripalani wanted me to meet everybody in India, you know, all the movie stars and all the gurus and all the this and all the that. And they were coming into the hotel so they can shake my hand and get pictures. And I was so tired. And I show up that night. They bring me in a, hel in a helicopter and land me be behind the platform. I walk on the platform. I look at three million people in front of me. And you know what happened? It was so precious. I get up on the platform. I'm sitting, uh, in fact, standing. And Jim Sonero is leading in How Great Thou Art, 4,000. Uh, voice choir behind me, all of them precious singing to the Lord. And, and I was not supposed to be up on the platform that early because we had agreed I would come on on the second time he would sing How Great Thou Art. I just could not wait. I just came on early. So I got up on the platform. I'm standing there and the Lord spoke. I heard the voice of the Spirit this close to my ear. I'm not get, kidding you. He said, I missed you today. I missed you today. I began crying. I said, oh, dear Jesus, I'm so sorry. I was so busy. He said, but I missed you today. Why don't you lift your, lift your hands and right now tell him, oh, Jesus, I really miss you. I miss your presence. I miss your tender touch. Precious Jesus, precious Jesus. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Holy Spirit is, miracles always happen. And all you and I have to do is come in Jesus' name. It's just that simple. When you come in the name of Jesus into the Father's presence, the Holy Spirit is there. He's there to meet every need. And there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ. So you come with a free heart, boldly. We come with boldness into God's presence to the throne of grace and receive the miracle we need in time of need. Trust him now to meet your need. He was wounded for your transgressions and mine. He was bruised for our iniquities and chastised for our peace. And with his stripes, we are healed. 2,000 years ago, Jesus took our sin, took our pain, took our diseases, our darkness, our bondage, and today you and I are free because of him. Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Precious Lord, we come today in faith believing. You said if two agree, it will be done. And right now we both agree, Lord, that this miracle will take place, whether it be spiritual or physical or emotional or financial. Meet that need, we pray today. And yes, Lord, I rebuke sickness today. I rebuke disease today. 
I rebuke that spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Bring healing and recovery and peace and restoration in your precious and wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. Someone with glaucoma has just been healed. Arthritis of the shoulders has just been healed. The lower back has just been healed. You felt that anointing. You know what? I'm feeling it now. Someone's left leg also healed, a skin condition. Lord, we, we rebuke it in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Thank you, Lord. And Father, I lay my hands on these knees and I pray today for miracles in your people's lives. Lord, heal your people, deliver your people, set everyone free, meet every need, no matter what it is, in Jesus' name. Lord, you said if we agree, it'll be done, and we agree for your glory. Amen, amen. A prayer room up, upstairs is really anointed. Uh, pictures are everywhere on the walls because you've sent them in. Keep sending pictures of, of your loved ones and friends. We can believe God with you. And people are in there praying 24 hours a day. Your miracle is on the way because nothing is impossible with God. Bye-bye. Recently, Pastor Benny Hinn, along with Dr. Don and Mary Colbert and businessman John Ruckel, discussed an exciting new product which can radically improve your quality of sleep, the Pillow of Health. Here's a preview of this important interview which you can view on the ministry website. In this past year, I learned something that was very impactive because I realized that many, if not most, pillows are toxic. For about three years, I had started suffering from severe um, allergies in the morning. Three days after sleeping on this pillow, I was standing in the kitchen and I looked at Don and I went, have you noticed something? And he's like, what? And I go, I haven't blown, snorted, sneezed. I said, Don, wait a minute. The only thing I've changed is that pillow. And my smell started coming back. So he comes back and Don's like, oh my God, Mary. He goes, do you know how many people have asthma and childhood asthma and breathing and allergies? Oh my God, it's the freaking pillow. <laughs> you know? Sorry, my, okay. my grammar. Anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about wow. this, guys. I am. How many people that suffer from allergies and asthma and chronic cough and chronic nasal congestion and sneezing and itchy eyes <laughs> as many times due to this mold? and this dust no mites joke. that are in the pillow. And this little arachnid, these little tiny microscopic dust mites that live in all your pillows, actually, during the 80-day life cycle of one of these little mites, it has approximately 1,000 fecal pellets. And that's being proven? Yes, 1,000 fecal pellets it excretes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> They're constantly going to the bathroom, and each one of those whoa, little whoa, mites... Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Little critters are going to the bathroom yes. inside my pillow. Yes. My God, that's it. Are you serious? I'm yes. serious. Right now, we sold about 10, 12,000 pillows so far, and uh, you know, and the, and the feedback has been tremendous. Uh, like what? Fam just people with neck pain, people with uh, insomnia, people with allergies, especially. I mean, allergies is a big one. They say you know the pain goes away. If anything can can help God's people, we want it. We believe in God. He is our healer. But thank the Lord that he's given us gifts like you to, to help us stay healed. A good night's sleep is essential to rejuvenating our bodies and minds, combating the stress and fatigue we all experience with today's fast-paced lifestyles. But many of us have great difficulty in getting the rest we need, often combating coughing, congestion, sneezing, and other symptoms which, unknown to most people, can be caused by the toxic nature of our pillows. Research has shown that pillows are the breeding ground for mold, bacteria, and thousands of microscopic dust mites, which interfere with a good night's sleep. But now there's a product which can literally change your life by radically improving the quality of your sleep. The Pillow of Health, developed by the leading manufacturer of medical products for hospitals. This pillow combines medical grade hypoallergenic, antimicrobial and dust mite resistant components with a unique design to provide the perfect blend of comfort and support in the most luxurious pillow available anywhere. Washable, non-toxic and adjustable for your individual needs. The Pillow of Health is endorsed by athletes, personal trainers and medical professionals 
professionals and can help improve conditions such as snoring, migraines, neck pain, allergies, insomnia, asthma, and much more. The Pillow of Health can be yours for a gift of $150 for the king size and $135 for the queen size. It carries a lifetime limited warranty from the manufacturer and will give you the most incredible quality of sleep you have ever experienced. Honest to goodness, I have not had one headache each morning I've gotten up, I've had no headaches. And when I first got the Pillow of Health, it was immediate that I felt that I had a good night's sleep. I really liked how comfortable and how cool this pillow was. And of course, my wife tells me now that I don't snore anymore either. I love this pillow. It made such a huge difference. You'll want one for yourself, and it makes a perfect gift for your children, spouse, family members, and loved ones. Call now or go online to order your Pillow of Health today. Pastor Benny, God used you to help me find purpose in life. In 1991, my wife and I were seeking because we knew God was calling us to something greater than we'd ever done, but we didn't know what. And we saw you on TV, and we thought, we're going to go find out if this man is really for real. So we came to Orlando, and we attended the Orlando Christian Center Church there. And one week of being at the church, and there's one thing we know for sure, you are a man of God. That following Sunday, we attended the morning service before we planned to go back home to Virginia. And out of thousands of people, God had you call my wife and I on stage for a double portion anointing for a special work. And we didn't even know yet what that special work was. But we knew in our heart it was coming. We just didn't know what. But we knew one thing, we needed that anointing. If we're going to do the work, we had to have that anointing because it was something beyond anything we could do in ourselves. So we went back home after that Sunday to Virginia, and the following week, uh, we saw God. We said, God, show us what to do. And so God spoke to us all night long. God unveiled a vision, and He had us call the ministry Harvest Time International Ministries, which is a global mission ministry, providing food and clothing, hygiene, medical, household products for disaster, hunger, and refugee relief here locally and nationally and internationally into 89 countries in the world. One of the highlights of our year is the Christmas Bag of Joy, where it's a county event. We work with Sheriff's Department, Seminole County United, other agencies, churches, organizations, all come together in unity to provide toys for needy families. Merry Christmas! Christmas Bag of Joy was birthed out of our community assistance program. At our first Christmas Bag of Joy, we had about 200 people attend. Today, more than 7,000 people are here on our campus. As you know, Christmas is a special time of the year. Some of you can remember when you sneaked into the living room to see what was under the tree. I'm so happy to tell you today that we have provided over 30,000 gifts for needy parents to give to their children this Christmas. And we are not trying to emphasize the material aspect of Christmas, but children are children, and they will feel the lack of a gift, and they will also feel the love of a gift. Pastor Benny, this all started when you laid hands on my wife and me and prophesied over us in 1991. And we are so proud to partner with you in sharing Jesus with people all over the world.